Greetings. Hi. Thank you for visiting our channel. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you for coming back. And if you're a new viewer, thank you for finding us. Either way, thank you for choosing to spend some time with us on our channel. You're about to watch us taste a cornucopia of Easter-related candies and goodies. Uh-huh. This should be interesting. These are definitely some interesting flavors. Yeah. We'll talk more about them as we get into them, but if you'd like to interact with us when this episode premieres on Easter, mm -hmm. if anyone is actually going to be watching on Easter, then you may do so in two ways. To my left, which is the right of the screen, there's a little drop down thing. It says show chat. If you click on it, it drops down the chat window and you can say hello to us and mm -hmm. talk about the video, talk about the treats, whatever you like. And if you're on a mobile, how do you do that, Jennifer? If you are on a smartphone or a tablet, the chat appears directly underneath the video. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. And you can also, of course, use the comment section below. But whatever you do, please do us a favor. If you're interacting or commenting, please be respectful. We encourage dialogue and conversation and such. Mm -hmm. We just ask that you be kind yeah. to us and to each other. If you enjoy this video or if you enjoy us or if you've enjoyed other videos on the channel, please do us a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, that helps us very much and we really do appreciate it. We really do appreciate all the clicks, all the watches, all the comments, mm -hmm. all the likes, all that good stuff. Today we are using a new camera setup with a new light Ooh. and the light looks great, but I'm finding it extremely distracting because I know I should be looking at the lens there, yeah. but I keep looking at me yeah. and looking at her in the camera yeah. or, you know, and it's very odd. So if you see my eyes wander or if you see me start to act like I can't see anything, it's because the light is really bright. And right. anyway, it does look very good. We're very excited about that. Yeah. It's going to make a lot of our videos a lot easier to do. So we're very grateful for the new technology. And of course I am sporting my latest hat in support of the Chicago Cubs because Major League Baseball season has started uh -huh. We're about four days into it when this video premieres. Yeah. We filmed this before the season started, so I don't know how the Cubs are doing. They're probably 0-4, but that's okay because... Hope springs eternal. We got ours. Yes. That's right. Intros are always very long. We apologize. We like providing you with... Background. <laughs> background and whatever entertainment we can. We're just sitting here laughing giddily. We haven't right. even had sugar yet. Now that we've talked about all that stuff, why don't you let us know about what we're going to try. Let us know about where you got it, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. In case these fine folks out there want to try these things for themselves. So take it away, Jennifer. All of these items either came from our family or I found. The first are a favorite of Easter. They've been around for a long time. We have jelly beans, except these are not just any jelly beans. These are Brock's spiced jelly bird eggs. Spiced jelly beans. Does it say anything on the bag about the, the flavors we're about to consume? Because I saw jelly beans and I got really excited because I love jelly beans. But then I saw spice and I went, ooh, because... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of regular jelly beans. I like When she said that, I was like, what? Well, wait, jelly beans. aren't all jelly beans oh. flavored? <laughs> I like... Have you ever had a non-flavored <laughs> jelly bean? I like... Here, kids, try these clear non-flavored jelly beans. The Easter Bunny let those for you. <laughs> Ew, it tastes like hate. I don't like the standard jelly beans Why? i like not even like cherry orange no not really lemon yeah jelly not beans were my fan. favorite well they were my second favorite easter candy these don't say anything about why they're spiced which or kinda, what flavors yeah, they are which kind of freaks me out uh, they are the standard jelly bean colors yeah but although pink orange purple white I think there's black in there, Ugh. which would mean they're licorice. Anise. Yay. You want to pick a color? I. Do you want to pick a color since you are not a big fan oh. of jelly beans? I'll, I'll do this white. 
right. jelly bean. Okay, she's still Sorry, one white. Jelly bird egg, technically. Jelly bird eggs up. What's up? <laughs> I got red. Mmm. Peppermint. Cinnamon. Mmm. Okay. Not bad. I was not expecting peppermint. The cinnamon was really good. It was really okay. cinnamony. Let's see. That looks like a light green. I'm guessing lime. Is that what they mean by spice then? You need to find out. That's spearmint. Ugh. Mm hmm. Spearmint's good, really? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be daring and I'm gonna try orange. I like spearmint in gum form. <laughs> That's a good sign. It's like orange meets mouthwash. Oh. It's really not good. Do you want to try purple or pink? No. <laughs> Maybe the black isn't a neat. You can, if you want. I'll try the pink, because I was intrigued by that one. I bet it's like minty bubblegum. Yeah. Yeah. Minty bubblegum. No, thanks. That's not great. Mm, yeah. This orange one is terrible. Okay, so that was... They were jelly beans. That's enough, Eddie. <laughs> they were okay. I thought the cinnamon one was great. I want to try the cinnamon. The one. orange mouthwash flavor was less than great. It's hard for me to give it a rating because right. there's I haven't tried every flavor. Right. So I'm not going to actually give it a number rating. I will just say, I will just give it the rating of mixed bag because... I'm sure there are other flavors that I would love. Like, you don't like spearmint. I love spearmint. So right. I would probably like the spearmint flavor. Right. The consistency is great. Uh -huh. It's exactly what you'd expect from a yes. classic, really good jelly bean. Mm -hmm. It's got kind of a harder shell, and it's super soft. The insides are super soft and chewy and gooey. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that about jelly beans. Yeah. I just, I, I can't give it a number because... Yeah, it's very hard to judge. You know, I haven't tried every flavor, and also I'm probably not gonna because it's a lot of sugar. Right. So give just it a, say a half, uh, like a, in the middle. Give thumb. it one of these. It's like a right. thumb that's like kind of kinda, waxing. It's right there. <laughs> waxing and waning. So if you enjoy jelly beans, you'll probably like some of them. Yeah. You probably won't like others of them, but yeah. Moving on. Moving on. We have limited edition M and M's. White chocolate key lime pie. Oh, I hate white chocolate. Everybody that has watched our tasting videos knows I'm not, not a, a white fan of thing. white chocolate. However, these definitely smell key limey. Ooh, they smell man, really good. Those limey. I like key lime pie. These M&Ms came from a family member who was gracious enough to ship them to us. Although I believe you can find them online, maybe Walmart, Target. They've been out for a little bit of time, I think. So, there you go. There you go. M&Ms, generally speaking, I'm not a huge M&M guy. I know you're not a big fan of M&Ms. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy peanut M&Ms, mm -hmm. and I Those love the peanut butter M&Ms. Most other M&Ms, I'm like, I you can could, take it or leave yeah. it. Like, we've had a few that were decent, like the popcorn M&Ms were oh, pretty good. Those were Pretzel M&Ms were really good, but Coconut most of the time I'm like, I'll try them, but yeah. I wouldn't request them. Right. Lime's up. Lime's up. Wow, that's creamy. That is exactly what I would expect from a key lime pie white chocolate M&M. &M. It tastes just like what I just said. It is what I would expect as well. <laughs> I'm not a massive fan. It's a very strong key lime flavor. So if you like key lime pie, you're probably going to like these. And if you like white chocolate, you're probably going to like these even more. Addendum to that yes. analysis. If you like key lime, but you don't like white chocolate, you're going to be exactly where I am. Like, right. I like the essence of the lime. Mm -hmm. And when it comes out, like I just got a little bite that was like really powerful lime, it's great, but mm -hmm. it's not enough to overpower the 
kind of undercurrent and creaminess of the white chocolate, which mm-hmm. again, I would never request white chocolate ever. So for me, it's <laughs> right. I, I mean, I just they're okay. I, I'm glad I tried them to say I did. Mm-hmm. What would you give it number wise? I'd probably give that a four. Four? Yeah, because wow, <laughs> I really enjoy chocolate M and M's generally speaking. So I would rank many other M and M flavors we've had over these. Okay. I, I was thinking myself I was going to give them a four and a half, but now based on your ranking, I feel like I should go lower. But I mean, I'm going to say four and a half because they're not offensive and they're not like bad. They're just, I just don't think they're very good. Yeah. So, there you go. But they're crunchy. They're crisp and crunchy. They're very creamy. They're very smooth. Next. What's next? And where did you get it? These also came from a family member. Now, everyone, our family members are enablers. <laughs> many of you know that Peeps have been around for a really long time. They have. And in the past few years, they have really expanded their flavor line. So we have hot tamale, fierce cinnamon. Peeps. For the record, I really enjoy cinnamon flavored stuff yeah candies and Mm -hmm. cookies and whatever i like cinnamon in in chocolate i like cinnamon in hot chocolate i think it's really good i like cinnamon coffee actually with chocolate so but do you like peeps i don't yeah there you go (laughs) i don't like marshmallow i know generally speaking so Uh, although i do enjoy some peeps so maybe this will be we'll see do you like peeps I do, actually. Uh, I know, but you said you don't like moon pie. I haven't had a moon pie in a really long time. I think it probably would change nowadays. I think I always thought the moon pie tasted I think so too. old. It never tasted You probably fresh. just had old moon pies. I had old moon pies. <laughs> Maybe we should do that in a future tasting video coming soon. Maybe we can get some sent to us. I think we can A bunch of that. different kind of we moon pies because they make all kinds of flavors. They do. Anyway. Peeps up. Peeps up. It smells like a poop. Ooh. Oh, I kind of dig that. I like that. In fact, mm, bye. It was red on the inside, too. You sure it wasn't just, it's pink. Pink. Yeah. So, classic peep through and through. Crispy, granulated sugar outside, which gives you that crisp kind of bite texture, mm-hmm. super soft on the inside, oh, yeah. super smushy marshmallow. I don't like marshmallow, so I I, right. I, I I mean, I liked the flavor. I really like hot yeah. tamales as a candy. Oh yeah. So for flavor, that's one thing, but the entire experience as a whole, I would give that a 3.75. Wow, 3.75. I just, it's something about biting into marshmallow just that's is okay. like, ugh. You I don't even like them in cocoa usually, know, which it's okay. she's like, you poor, <laughs> you poor stupid man. <laughs> no, I know. Now that being said, I haven't had a peep in a really long time. And that was quite delicious. It was way softer and fresher than I remember peeps being. Which, yeah, because when you were a kid, they were always they were stale. Always no matter no matter when you ate them. It's Easter morning. I'd bite into a peep, and it was like, Bleh. right. It was like shoe filling or something yeah that was actually really tasty i give it a six that was good peeps literally makes dozens of different flavors they've cotton candy maybe you should you should seek out search and seek out peeps for a tasting video if i'm not mistaken they have chocolate dipped peeps that would probably be better because it's chocolate chocolate and marshmallow and chocolate and marshmallow combined for me is a slightly different story like i love a moon pie but I love the graham cracker and the moon pie. Right. It's not necessarily the chocolate and marshmallow. I gotcha. It's all three. I got you. So makes total sense. So there's that. Moving on. Last but not least, I found these. She found these. Lint Lindor truffles. I love Neapolitan. He loves Neapolitan. However, the caveat: it's white chocolate. <sighs> so we'll see. But I am excited because. 
Lindor truffles, they have so many different flavors now, mm. and it could be really good. He's not. I want to show the people at home the thing about Lindor truffles. They're always beautifully wrapped. Beautiful. You can see. Yes. The beautiful wrapper, gold and pink. Yes. With some white writing and a little bit of white decor. Mm -hmm. They're really like... Rosé. They're beautifully packaged. Right. Which you can't go wrong is part that. of their whole oh, thing. Yeah. So, But white chocolate. Well, it got a little soft. It did. The light must have heated them up. Neapolitan truffles up. Truffles up, yeah. Creamy center. Oh my god, are, are they always like that? Mm hmm. I. It's been so long since I've had a Lindor truffle, I forgot how soft it is on mm -hmm. the inside. It's almost like liquid. Yeah. Those are delicious. I was not expecting that. I love the filling. Yeah. Mmm. Hints of strawberry mm -hmm. without being overpowering, mm -hmm. and then a whole bunch of chocolate. And it's good chocolate. But again, it's a white chocolate shell, and I just... Mm. Can't get past that. If it was just filling in a bag, <laughs> then... Perfect. Maybe I'd enjoy... Maybe it could be like a Capri Sun, Lindor filling, and you could just put a straw and... <laughs> you know... You don't want to look at the nutritional value on any of these things. Total calories, 900. Mm -hmm. I was just looking to see if it's anything else more specific about the fact that they're Neapolitan truffles, but no, not really. It says irresistibly smooth on the packaging on the front, and they're very smooth. You were going to say? Uh, the word I would use to describe these are decadent. They yes. are decadent truffles. If you're looking for something very rich, very sweet, and smooth, as it says on the front. Pick yourself some Lindor truffles. Pick yourself some Lindor truffles. Do, can you can you find them in nature? Can you go up to the truffle tree and just pick off some Lindor truffles? Pick yourself up some Lindor truffles today. These I found at Target. Pick yourself up one of these fine Universal Monster mugs from Universal, Universal Studios. Studios. It's a gift from a friend. It's technically, it's hers. He you can use. I appreciate that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate those? Ooh. I'd probably give those a 6. 6? I would still prefer dark chocolate hmm. in some sort of truffle form over white chocolate, but, but those are way better than I thought they were going to be. Okay. So, for me, mm -hmm. I would rate the filling an 8.7. <laughs> 100. <laughs> and then I would rate the white chocolate itself for being white chocolate, it's very good white mm -hmm. chocolate. Like I said, it's great quality. It doesn't yes. taste cheap. It doesn't no. taste waxy. No. It tastes very well made. Yes. I give the white chocolate, though, because it's white chocolate, a five. So what yeah. I, what I say, 8.7 like and, and a five. five. So that's 13.7. So that's like a 6.8-ish. Yeah. Which, you know... Right. If someone gave me one, I would eat it, but I wouldn't yeah. ask for a second. I'd there be like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, one's definitely enough because of how sweet they are. Or because they're white or chocolate. Or because they're white <laughs> <laughs> that too. Okay, well. Happy Easter. Once again, we came, we saw, we candied. Or should I say, hoppy oh, Easter. Oh, because of the bunny. <laughs> we wish all of you who participate in and celebrate mm -hmm. Easter... A very happy Easter. Mm -hmm. We wish the rest of you a very happy Sunday and yes. a great week and a great month of April. Let's hope that things continue to go on the up and up, yes. except for the COVID numbers. We hope those go on the down and down. Correct. And just take care of each other right? so you can take care of yourselves and vice versa. And thank you so much for spending some time with us today, or I guess it's always today whenever you watch this. <laughs> video for you it's always today <laughs> you know what i mean we appreciate you coming by and checking out the videos and please look around there's probably other videos that you will enjoy mm -hmm. and we haven't given a recommendation in a while i've given this one many times before but i'm going to give it again go check out cinema rules 
they're doing all the Scream films now, and they're also doing some of the Halloween and Friday the 13th sequels. And if you've seen those movies and you're a fan of those films, it's always great to watch people watching them for the first time. At least I think it is. These guys really enjoy cinema, so it's always fun to watch them enjoy those. And, and because they're doing some of my favorite horror films, I might go check them out. And that's about it. We will be back on Wednesday with episode three, three. of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. There's a very unhappy dog in the courtyard, so I guess that's our... Our it's bell. Cut off cue. It's because he doesn't have any Lind Lindor truffles. Doesn't chocolate kill dogs? Yeah. Some do. Know, maybe, I would say to toss him one, but. Okay. A peep. I maybe. probably wouldn't. Oh, God. Maybe not the cinnamon <laughs> peep, though. I was just saying, that might not <laughs> end well when it comes out. Right. Anyway, everybody take care of yourselves. <laughs> we will see you very soon. Thanks again. Bye, everybody. Happy Easter. <laughs> That's all I got. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>Easter treat type things. We'll yeah. Explain. Sh <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Bloopers. You're about to watch us taste a cornucopia. <laughs> and I'm sporting my Lethal Weapon shirt today. I don't know what that has to do with Easter, but <laughs> I really love Lethal Weapon. <laughs> so, not the TV show. Easter's too old for that. <laughs> I don't know. Angle it down just a tiny bit, yeah, because you're going to get a glare. Technically, a niece. A Because you can have red liquid. You can also have... There's a, right. there's a store in our town that sells, like, all sorts of different flavored licorice, like oh, yeah. blue raspberry and pink oh, lemonade and orange and root beer. I mean, some of the flavors we haven't tried, but the ones we have tried, yeah. they're, amazing. they're amazing. They're really good. I keep looking at you in the camera. I, I need to... Look at the lens. It's really hard to do. Let me get the other stuff out of my teeth. I can't smell what it is. Say that again us. because that was probably really loud. Please. There's all the leftover candy's gonna go in this grab bag. So far we're... We're fat and high. Our percentage is not that high so far. Well, well that's not much better, is it? <laughs> for the record... For the record. That bag is really loud. No, I'm no longer telling everyone we don't eat a lot of sugar because clearly, clearly that's all we that's eat. All we do. No, it's not. Which would probably be that really would good. probably be probably what is last but not least. I found these. I sound like I'm angry. Then, you got to do that again. Like okay. all we saw was glare. Tilt it down okay. slightly, but not too much. That's just that's better. Well, I, 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 love... I was putting it closer, it's just getting worse. Sorry. If it was just filling in a bag. <laughs> bag, did you hear that? Let me see that again.